Hey everybody, Tristan's here. Welcome to another edition of Trist Time. So, as you all know, two more weeks until Christmas. And we all know that good old Saint Nick is already getting ready to give out a lot of good presents to all the good little boys and girls all over the world all over the world. But the but he also gives a lot of special gifts to a lot of to a lot of people who treat who would treat every their gifts that they always wanted for a long time very special. Like treat like and treat it very special. So my story about story is basically about treating every gift special, especially if it comes from good old Saint Nick. It's like the old saying, he sees you when you're sleeping, he knows when you're awake. He knows what he, whether you've been good or bad, so be good for goodness sake. So that's what my story is about, about treating every gift that you want for a long time, for an entire year. Treat it very special. Story is called, That One Gift That's Special to Santa. From... Santa Paul's. If you guys know who Santa Paul's is, he's Santa Claus's closest pup and everything. All right. Hi, Santa helpers. Well, each year on Christmas, you get that one gift that is so special, even if you could not get it on your own or no one would or no one or no one could get it for you or there's nothing there's nothing you can do to get it. They wish they could, but good old Saint Nick always knows and he always sees. But as long as you're good for an entire year, he will get you what you wish for. Like that's that good old Christmas carol you hear when you hear him on your rooftop. You know, I know what this Chris on Christmas Eve. This is basically the time. This is one Christmas carol that you that you know very well. Up on the up on the rooftop, reindeer paws out jumps good old Santa Claus down through the chimney with lots of toys. All for the little ones, Christmas joys. Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Up on the housetop, click, click, click. Down through the chimney with the Saint Nick. Okay. Now, many of you ask, what's very, what very special gift Santa has? Yeah, believe me, there's a lot of things, a lot, there's a one special gift that, that Santa do have. Sometimes he, sometimes you, he will tell you, sometimes you probably won't know what it is, but trust me, only he knows what's special that he has. Well, there's a lot, I mean, everything around the North Pole is like a dream a wonderland that I know many of you fantasize of having in real life. And believe me, we all wish we can live the life that Santa Claus lives. But in reality, sometimes in a place where money is not an issue, it's like everything you build, everything you want, it can come to you. Or you can just build it with your own head, with your own hands, or with your mind. Sometimes it's magic. You never know. Believe me, we all wish we could have that. Yes, Santa is always happy and jolly that he lives in a magical world. He loves to give special gifts to those that are so nice and good all year long. See, as a kid, you ask for that one special gift that you remember for forever. And if you still have it when you grow up, like if when you were a boy, which is the truth, 
for so many years. This is way back in, in the mid in the other centuries. It's like when you were a boy, you wanted a train set. Or that one special bike that you've always wanted that no other kid had. But if you finally had got it, and good old Saint Nick did brought it, give it to you and brought it to you for a gift. He was listening. And it was and everything else. And it was special. And if it was special and you still have it, that means you treat it special. See, any special gift that you ask for all year long and as a kid and you still have it to this day as an adult and it's in good condition, it's good, it's good on everything, that means you treated it, you still treat it very special because it means a lot to you in the heart. Now, if you were a little girl, you wanted a very special doll. A doll that any other girl didn't have. If they did, you wanted something different from theirs. This is way back in another century, too. Where everybody would like to have that one special toy. Or, or anything or anything. In particular. And everything else. And if, and if, she, and if you still have it. As a, little girl, as a little girl. If you still have that doll. With you. And it's all, always in good condition. And you've always treated. Very special. As always. Because Santa did bring that to you. That means. You did some. You have been really good, and you've done a lot of good things. That means he gave you that gift because you because you're going to treat it very special. He knows. And see, every special gift that Santa gives you that you asked for and you want it. And you want it special through childhood and adulthood. You should keep it. You should keep treating it special. Which is true. Any special gift the Santa does give to you. And you, you just keep treating it as special. No matter what. Because how many of you can say. That there is. A gift out there. That you really want. And you really want it very badly. And you will do anything for it. Do anything to get it. But no matter what. Sometimes you can get it, you can get it on your own. Or somebody can get it for you. But sometimes. If it doesn't happen. You, you're probably going to say. Okay. Maybe next Christmas. Maybe, the Christmas. maybe it won't happen next Christmas. Or Christmas after that. Or Christmas after that. But. That one, the, the man in red always knows. And it might come to you, pop out of nowhere. It'll just be right there standing beside you on a tree, by the tree, anytime around Christmas. See, if you, you do that, then Santa made all your Christmases through the years very special. So, which of course you still have that that gift, and you keep it for so long. That means it was very special to special to you then, and it's still special to you now. If you have kids of your own, they will ask you why is it so special. 
you be just you just tell them, well, whenever you want a gift so badly all year long, and if you say it's going to be very special, then guess what? If you're like me, then guess you will always keep it keep it very special to you and you treat it very special. So basically that's the whole thing. See, we're in a new generation. No matter what generation you're from, it can be the generation past, but in the next generation of the future, if you still have it, have that gift that is so special to you, guess what? Every Christmas that comes by and and comes, guess what? And you still have that gift, then, then all your Christmases remains special. Because you treat every treat everything that you had that you got for Christmas very special. And everything in your life that you have around you also gets treated special. Because you keep treating it. So, that's the one thing. A lot, of, a lot of you who are parents should always know that and share it with your children and they will share it to their children and share it to the next generation, to the next generation. So always remember that. Not every gift gets treated very special. But if it means so much to you and you treat it very and you keep treating it very special, then every year around Christmas, every time you look at that gift that you had during your childhood, guess what? Every all your Christmases and every Holiday is very special to you. So, hope you guys enjoyed that story. Hope you guys are still enjoying Trish time. I'll have another story for you. Besides, few, few, just Christmas is getting really close. So, hope you guys are ready. I know, Sa I know, Santa is. Remember, he's bringing he's bringing gifts and very special gifts. So, much love. God bless you. Hope you have a good Christmas.